not a framework it is a only a way to create develop run and configure your j application or spring mvc application very easily okay it have need very less configuration we have not need to like uh, spring mvc we have need multiple xml file for con configuration we have need only uh, at the place of xml file we can choose application dot properties file or any properties file or uh, mvml file also okay so uh, what is spring boot so all spring boot is the only way it is not a framework must you remember this okay so we can say spring boot is equal to spring framework plus embedded http server plus less configuration okay so actually spring work uh, works on spring framework plus it provide us embedded html http pro, uh, server we have not need to download tomcat server from the internet and install in your system okay actually spring boot provides us the uh, inbuilt uh, embedded http server that is by default tomcat okay plus less configuration we have not need to uh, create configuration file like uh, uh, spring mvc there are two or three ML, uh, xml files here uh, it's require only very less configuration if you have need you can use xml file no problem but uh, we have not need to uh, use xml file at the place of this we can use application dot properties file that's your uh, your uh, spring boot has provided us okay so here uh, here suppose we want to create a spring boot application it's very simple please open your web browser and type here spring initializer okay then you will get this uh, link spring initializer here you can see here there is a, the url is https start.spring.io this is the url for spring initializer okay you can click on this link here you can see this is spring initializer with the help of this page we can create we can develop a spring boot application okay so here we can select anything like suppose we are going to use maven so please select here maven project will be uh, we are going to use a project tool that is maven okay language we will use java a spring boot here we can use any version like uh, you can see here i'm going to use 3.1.8 version okay after that project metadata here you can specify the package name okay here you can specify the uh, project name okay after that here uh, we will get jar file and here you can use any java version like 21 or 17 i am using 17 so i selected 17 after that in uh, spring boot we have not need to add the dependencies for different uh, uh, requirement like spring mvc and other at the place of this here you can see this here is add dependencies please click here and type here web suppose we want to go to use web so please just type here you will get spring web so at the time of creation of your spring boot application you can add the dependency uh, as per your requirement okay type here add dependency and you can uh, type suppose we want to add a data jpa okay you can select this okay so at the time of creation of your spring boot application you can add the all dependencies but it is not mandatory you can also add the all dependency at the time of development okay so suppose we want to uh, we are going to create a, uh, a spring boot application uh, for uh, spring core so we have not need to add any dependencies okay we can remove all dependencies here if you want to use if you want to work on uh, spring core 
ओके बट सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू यूज स्प्रिंग वेव सो वी हैव नीड स्प्रिंग वेव अप्लीकेशन यहाँ देन वी विल एड वेव लाइक स्प्रिंग वेव डिपेंडेंसी ओके बट सपोज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वी वॉन्ट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज स्प्रिंग कोर अप्लीकेशन सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव दिस ओके आफ्टर दैट यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन देयर इज ए जनरेट बटन प्लीज क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन Download it. Use your this application. Okay, this is APC. This is jar file. I believe you see. You can see this. This is a jar file of your project. Uh, where is? Uh, You will found in your download. Okay, so this is jar file. So please extract this. X click on extract all. Click on extract. Okay, this is ABC. so suppose you want to use this application so it's very simple first of all open your id like eclipse or uh, cts sorry sts Okay, so now if you want to use that Spring Boot application, please import that application in your IDE. So click File, then click Open Project from File System. Click on this option, and then click on Directory button. So our application existed here. Okay, so please select this folder. and click on select folder option okay and click on finish so with the help of spring initializer we can create and develop a spring boot application after that it provides us a jar file so after extraction we can import that file in your ide okay second option if you are using 
STS. So we have already a option. Click on File, then click on New, then you can click on Spring Starter Project. STS uh, especially provides us a option for Spring Boot. Okay, so you can click on Spring Starter Project. Click on this option. So here. Here you can see this. It's also using same URL. Start that spring.io. Here you can specify any project name like SV waiver. Specify here your uh, type means project build tools, version of Java, jar file, Java. Here you can specify the package name like CTS. Okay, here you can also declare here. CTS, click on next. Here, I'm going to use uh, core. So, we have not need to add any dependency. Okay, so only click on next and then finish. So, this is a Spring Boot application. Please open this. This project, you will get this is a structure of your Spring Boot application. Here, uh, this is a, a SRC main Java, this is a source folder. Please open this source folder. Then you will get your package com.cts. Open this package. Then you will get a main file. This is a main, it have also main class. Okay, after that, this is a resource. Please open this. Here you can see this application dot properties. Okay, here we can perform the all configuration. Okay, after that, SRC test Java. Here we can perform the testing purpose and Maven dependencies, SRC. This is SRC and it is empty. And here, pom.xml. Here you can see this is a very important file of your Spring Boot. Here you can see this. So this is a version 4.00 parent here. This is a tag parent. So actually, uh, with the help of this tag, it uh, provides the all dependency of parent class. Okay. So it provides the all dependencies of your parent Spring Boot application. After that, here Comda CTS is your project name. Okay, this is a Java version. After that, you, you can see here, these are two dependencies. By default, it provides us two dependencies. First is a Spring Boot Starter. Actually, we are going to create a core application. This provides a Spring Boot Starter. If we want to create a web application, it will provide a Spring Boot Web Starter. Okay, so it will provide us uh, two dependencies. By default, two dependencies. First for development and second for testing. Okay, after that, suppose uh, we want to execute any program, like suppose there is a main class and we want to execute it. Okay, so here, first of all, actually here in Spring Boot, mostly we use annotation like this. Here you can see this. We have annotation at Spring Boot application. Okay, so uh, here we, you, we have need very less configuration and we have not need to create XML file. Okay, at the place of this, we will we'll use annotation, different types of annotation, like a Spring Boot application. Here, this is a main function. In main function, uh, you can see Spring application dot run. Uh, run is a method, and a Spring application is a class, predefined class. That's the work like as a implemented class of your IOC. And here, run. Uh, this run is a static method of a Spring application. This this uh, run method have two parameter. Uh, this is a, your application name class and ARDS main main arguments. Okay. If you uh, open this run, please open this run 
and you can see this it returns a configuration application context object okay so i think you have remember in spring vc we use application context but here we will get the object of configurable application context okay so here we can use we can declare here context is equal to a spring application run okay so this run method will get uh, will return the object of uh, object of configurable application context okay so if you want to get, if you have need of the object of any uh, any bin file so with the help of this reference variable this object we can get the object of any model class okay so now i am going to create a bin file a pojo file or a model file so for this purpose suppose here tew i'm going to create a class here i declare model and uh, here uh, like uh, imply click on finish here we can declare the private int amp id private string amp name and we can generate the setter getter method of these properties to so click on generate getter and setter select all and click on generate okay suppose we have need the object of this class okay so this context we can get the object of that any bin file so suppose here we have need the object of imply class to so declare here imply dot class and it will return the object of imply so we can save the object of imply in imply reference okay after that we can set the values in the object of imply like set imply id mp dot get imply name sorry set imply name imply id plus emp dot get imply id same as we can display the imply name get imply name okay now i'm going to execute this application here you can spring boot application click on this option you can also click on a java application no problem but it provides us uh, additional uh, facility of a spring boot here you can see this is showing error no qualifying bin of type com.cts.model.imply actually in spring mvc we uh, if you want to get the object of any uh, any bin file so we declare a xml file and we can get the values okay but here how to get the value the, uh, get the object of imply class for this purpose we have a annotation we use here uh, component okay now again okay, i'm going to execute this this application click on spring boot application 
So we have not need to specify a XML file at the place of this. Uh, we only declare the add uh, component and we can get the object of that bin file. Okay, so it's very easy compared to Spring MVC. We have made only the component uh, uh, annotation and we can get the object of that class. Okay, so here component component is equal to at configuration plus b okay bin return the object of your bin file and configuration is uh, provide you configuration of your model class okay so component is a combination of uh, configuration plus b we have not need to specify configuration bin at the place of this we can use add component okay second thing the very important thing here you are getting a annotation that is a spring boot application okay and a spring boot application we can say is equal to is the annotation also a spring boot application that is a combination of multiple uh, annotation like enable auto configuration plus plus component is can a spring boot application is a combination of Enable auto configuration plus configuration and component scan. So it uh, enable the con auto configuration. We have not need to apply the configuration. Very less configuration. We have need only very less configuration. And here configuration, configuration class based uh, annotation. So we have need for the class. So we it is also included in Spring Boot application and component scan i think you have remembered we have already used in a application a spring web application uh, in a spring servlet dot xml file we do the component scan where we specify the base package of your controller have you remember Actually, here we have specified the object of uh, studio class. So component is can uh, here we can specify the base package. Okay, I think you have remember. In XML file, we have declared this. can see this in dx in spring mvc you can see here in src main web app web inf here is spring servlet open this file And you can see here we declare here com.cts.controller this is a component scan tag okay so at the place of this we use add component scan annotation so this is spring spring boot application contain the component scan so if you have need the a specification of your uh, controller class so you can use this okay at configuration and this is a combination spring boot application configure uh, is a combination of at 
enable auto configuration plus configuration plus component scan okay so here you can see this it's very simple here uh, spring application dot spring uh, application is a class i do have written it have a, uh, a static method run it return the object of configure application context object of configuration application context we can get the object of any bin file with the help of get p okay so we can get the values and uh, as per our need we can perform the all operation through the uh, after getting the object of the bin class what happened manjit siddharth okay Okay, so now suppose uh, uh, so this is a single class. Suppose we are going to get a another object of the same class. Okay, so for this purpose, here I am going to declare a object E. This is second object. Okay, so now I am going to. So the value of second object name is e. So here e dot get id e dot get e name. Okay, now you can execute this. Click on Spring Boot application. Okay, but both are showing same values. Okay. So actually, your Spring Boot work on a singleton design pattern. Means it's only provide us the single object. Okay. So suppose we have need the uh, multiple object of any class. So for this purpose, we have another annotation. For this purpose, here we can use scope. Value is equal to prototype. By default, your Spring framework work on single time. But suppose you want to, you have need of the multiple object, so you can use prototype. Okay. Now we can execute this. It's showing default values. Okay, so if you have need the object of multiple class, multiple object of a class, so you can use a scope, a scope prototype. Now I'm going to create another uh, class. Like suppose, address. Sorry. What are you saying? Manjit? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, implied. Yes, this is scope. Actually, uh, your spring works only on the basis of a design pattern that is called single type means we can work only a single object of a bin file or model file or pojo file okay so here you can see the okay, suppose here i have removed this and again i am going to execute this it will show same result for both objects because it provides us only single object you can see here imply id one 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 imply name is zero. Both objects are showing same values because Spring providers here you can see this EMP is a first object and E is a second object. Here I am setting only the value of imply EMP 
object okay and here i am uh, showing directly the value of e object second object but it display the same result for both object so if you want to work on multiple object of a model class so for this purpose here you can use a scope and value is equal to prototype so now we can get the multiple object of a class and as per our need we can perform the operation on that object okay same as suppose we have a another class uh, address so here i'm going to declare private Okay, generate the getter setter method of. Okay, and we have need the object of this class. Okay, after that, we can specify here. private address and generate get a set method sorry hello yes so you need them to connect right in projector yes ma'am so today i think it is no. not available from one o'clock they have another meeting there so okay. i think they have to set the multi-purpose hall uh, so no, no, I, I, i'm taking that online no okay, problem. You need it tomorrow because I already pre-booked it. Yes, yes. It's okay. Tomorrow 9 to 1 I'm booking, okay? okay Let me okay, check okay, with okay, them and okay, I will okay, confirm. Okay. I, I, I need actually in this week. Okay, okay. In this in their week? Yes, it's possible. Uh, that I, they have to confirm. That we okay, have to okay, book okay, their own. Okay. I will just request okay, them. Okay, okay, okay. Then. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. So here. Uh, आपको बुला रही है कह रही आप लोग बहुत शोर करते हो अच्छा 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 ठीक है ठीक है Uh, yes, we have to clear uh, address 
here you can see that as a property in imply class okay and generate the set getter method of address also okay after that uh, we have need this value of address so please get the object of address so here address area is equal to context dot uh, name of class is address dot class address okay after that we can set the value of address dot set and okay after that we can put the object of address in set address after that we can plus We can execute it. Okay, it's working. So this is the example aggregation. Here I've declared the reference variable of address class and generate the set aggregator method. So we can also access the values of another class. Okay, so first of all, here I get the object of both uh, classes like Im imply and address. After that, set the values and put the object of address in the uh, imply object. After that, we can access the all values with the help of imply object. Okay, done. Okay. Now I'm going to share this example. Please do it. If you have any doubt, any queries, please share me. Okay. After that, we will start web application.